Now, there are very few capitals in the world where you can find, on average, real estate for under $1,000 per square meter. But Tbilisi in Georgia is one of them. And I'm going to give you 10 reasons why I think investing in Tbilisi, Georgia is a good idea. So let's get straight down to it. Number one, price. Now, property in Tbilisi is incredibly cheap. As I was saying, on average, it's less than $1,000 per square meter. And often you can find, even in the very center of Tbilisi, you won't find property for more than $1,200 per square meter. So you can get some very good downtown apartments for less than $60,000, $70,000. And I want to compare it with capitals um, like Yerevan, nearby capitals like Yerevan in Armenia and Baku in Azerbaijan where there are similar salaries are quite similar but these two places when it comes to real estate are 40 percent more expensive than uh, tbilisi in georgia now number two high rental yields tbilisi has quite high rental yields typically seven to eight percent on average this is tremendous when you compare it to most capitals worldwide now um, some of you who are looking at tbilisi will see on the internet um, yields of about 14 to 15 percent promised by certain number of gurus i think this is false i think more realistically you are looking at seven to eight percent not least because most people in um, tbilisi and georgia actually own their own homes and here you're talking about 90 to 92 percent so there is a limited um, supply of clients for renting out your property but you will get seven to eight percent you, you might get more, but I think you've got to have a little bit of luck. But I'm sure you'd agree with me. Seven to eight percent is absolutely tremendous. Now, number three, what I also like as well is that the number of tourists going to Tbilisi is really growing year on year. And we're talking about um, double digit figures. And um, I've been to Tbilisi. I was there last year. You can see that on my Facebook page. And there are not many. It's a lovely place, but there are not many direct flights to Tbilisi. I only see this increasing in the future. More tourists means, yep, more Tbilisi will be more known in the eyes of the world. And that, I'm sure, will lead to higher real estate prices. Number four, what I also like is there's no barriers to entry for foreign buyers. So typically when you buy a property in um, Tbilisi, uh, you're treated the same as a local. Now, I've made other videos where if you've seen them, you, for example, Hong Kong slaps an extra 15% stamp duty if you're a foreign buyer. This is not the case in Tbilisi. And I make this a good point for investing in the country. Number five, the economy. Yeah, uh, Georgia has been growing on average over the last 10 years at 5%. 5% each year on average for 10 years. That's tremendous growth. And forecasting for the future, this does look likely to continue. So higher GDP means more wealth for the country and higher property prices. So if you do go in now over the next year or so, you're likely to see good increases in the future. What I also like is that um, this is a, a pet hate of mine when governments have very high debt. Uh, Georgia's total debt to GDP is around 43%. Now, I'm not saying that's magnificent, but it's a lot lower than many Western European countries, namely Italy, for example, is 133% before COVID-19. And even the UK was around 87%. So 43% is actually lower than average. And I make that, that's not, I make that as quite a good case. It's not too bad. Now, number six, what I also like about Georgia, if you make an investment here, it can it gives you residency. So for as little $100,000, uh, you can have a residency, residency for a certain time in Georgia. Now, the, if you buy a higher valued property, um, that will give you residency for longer. And the advantages here are that Georgia um, will not, if you have a residency in the country, it will not look at your worldwide income. So it won't tax you on your worldwide income as other countries do. Number seven, Georgia is very, very, very pro-business. It was ranked in 2019 as the seventh, easy, seventh best place for doing business in the world. That is tremendous for such a, well, I would say, let's be fair, such um, a little known country. But if you're ranked seventh in the world above places like Tokyo in Japan, that's pretty good. And often what you'll find in Georgia is that you can open a business uh, in Georgia and get all the legal paperwork in, in a day. Now, compare that to countries 
Uh, in Western Europe, let's take Italy. Italy, it can take months to open the simplest shop. But this is not the case in Georgia. You can um, open it in 24 hours. Uh, so I like a country which is very pro-business. And I think this makes this um, a better real estate market than in many other countries. Number eight, um, it's pro-landlord. Now, a lot of countries are pro-tenants. There's a lot of tenant protection rights. Not so much here in Georgia. Here you can freely negotiate the rent and you can freely negotiate uh, rent price rises. Um, there's nothing like Berlin or Dubai where you're limited in how much you can increase the rent. Now, what I also like about uh, Georgia is the low um, purchasing costs for real estate. So I, I did a video recently in the last week or so in Hong Kong and you can add 30% if you're a foreign buyer just for stamp duty, forgetting about all the other little legal expenses. This is not the case in Georgia. And I make this as another advantage of buying. And what I also coming to point 10, um, I what I like is that the it's it's a fairly low taxation country. country. So uh, if uh, you do invest in property and do sell it, you'll only pay 5% capital gains tax. Um, also, what I like is that corporation tax in this country is pretty low, it's 15%. And inheritance, there's no inheritance tax for first or second degree relatives. So if you're leaving it to a direct descendant like a son, daughter, whatever, you will pay no inheritance tax. Now, what are the disadvantages of investing in uh, Tbilisi? Now, there are, there have been some political tensions between Georgia and Russia, so you've got to keep a lookout for that. Number two also, um, although unemployment has been coming down in Georgia over the last few years, and that's right direction, it's still just over 10%. And I, whenever unemployment in a country is over 10%, I consider that as quite high. And there have been some protests concerning this over the last year in Georgia. And also in Georgia, you, you wouldn't really go in, have a mortgage in Georgia, simply because interest rates are quite high. So when you do invest in Georgia, you're likely to be a cash buyer but the flip side is is that yeah you're a cash buyer but you can go in in Tbilisi for as little as twenty thousand dollars now you're likely not to get a great property for that but you tell me any other capitals in the world um, unless they're really 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 underdeveloped where you can get property so cheap anyway um, before I go, you may ask other places to other other places to invest in Georgia. No, I would say stick to Tbilisi, stick to the downtown area if you can, um, because even in the downtown area, typically property costs between one thousand and fifty dollars per square meter and one thousand one hundred dollars per square meter. So there isn't a massive differential between the very center. And uh, if you're going, I don't say the outskirts, but you're going to the outer parts of Tbilisi. Um, for example, in many other capitals, there is a huge difference between the very center and what we call um, the outskirts. Not so in Tbilisi. So if you can invest in the very, very downtown part. But going back to the point of investing other parts of Georgia, no, you could invest in Batumi. Batumi has been heavily publicized. In fact, it's more publicized than Tbilisi, but I think in Batumi prices are already high. I think there's an oversupply of apartments. I don't think I've been to Batumi. I don't think the weather is particularly good. If you're gonna go for a Black Sea capital, um, rather than Batumi on the Black Sea, I would go for Varna in Bulgaria in the Black Sea because prices are similar, the weather's better, and Varna is much, much more developed. Anyway, if you are thinking of investing in um, Tbilisi or you've already done so, please um, let me know. Please put some comments in below and I will reply to every single one of those. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you on my next video and have a great day.